Good morning, guys. Um, today we're going to. We're getting some food for the train ride, and there's like um food packages like bento. I think um English speaking people notice um notice Japanese word. I don't know if I like it. I'm just gonna have a look. So this is so fun. Those are like all bentos which you can take to the train uh, onto the train. So I went to the convenience store and bought me a sandwich there or like something to eat because the other food didn't look good for me. In Japan it's super handy because you can see um, the trains, they operate here and then you can look up um, which place you have to enter the train to get to your seat. So we have to enter um, 5 and here's the train. going to Miyajima and we have to take the ferry and this is the ferry and it's super hot and as you know I'm wearing long trousers yeah while Ben is scared of um, airplanes I don't like ships very much well I'm not scared but I just don't like them because I, I feel like it could sink anytime and then I would have to swim in this ugly water which is like brownish and that scares me. So here's Bambi. I actually don't know how to call this in English. Is it a deer? In Japanese, it's a shika. But um, this is apparently almost ate my sister's clothing, so I'm a bit scared to go near it. Cute. Hi, so here's the sea and I'm just gonna dip my feet into it. I already um, pulled, pulled up my jeans Ooh. and I'm already regretting it because I have sand in my shoes. Well, it's obviously I have sand in my shoes. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. It's not such a beautiful sea, but still I'm not sure if I'm gonna dip my feet in this water. I'm just gonna put my hand in there, I guess. Well, here's some sam. What is samurai? The show. Samurai. And my family was actually samurai somewhere way, way back. There's the famous. I don't know how to call this in English. In Japanese, it's called tsuri. And we're heading there. So we're close to this. Japanese thingy now. Um, we're not going to go downstairs and go closer. Usually it's in the water, so I guess we were lucky that we can see a lot of it. Um, usually you could not walk um, to the place where the people are walking there. Yeah. I guess this is pretty famous. And if I just turn the camera to here, this is what it looks like. There are a lot of lot of people. I've seen some pretty creepy things in Japan and this is definitely this is definitely one of them. It had red eyes and it looked so creepy. Um now we're going to this Is it a castle? No. No. To this temple? Jinja. Jinja. Hi there, dear. Dear. Bumpy. So we're, I just don't know the English terms for this stuff, but yeah. <laughs> we're here and we're just gonna walk through it. And it looks so typically Japanese. It looks so beautiful. And can you see like um, all the trees behind it? It's so pretty. Usually the seawater um, covers the entire floor. It's so impressive to see. I need to buy some omamoris. There are crabs. Can you see them walking around? Like there and here. I bought two omamoris for traffic. One is for Ben. I'm going to show um, it to you. They're so cute. 
So this is the one for Ben's car. It is blue. So Ben, if you're watching, this one's for you. I know you didn't want to have a bell, but yeah, now you get a bell. So with the Omomori thing, it's kind of like a protector. We always had um, one of these Omomoris in the car. I kind of believe in it and I want to, even if Ben doesn't believe in it, I just want to put one in the car. So this looks pretty old, so we think that this is like the, um, the initial, I don't know if initial is the right word, but the initial building. There are like shops on the left hand side, like souvenir shops. There are a lot of deers. So cute. So as a snack we're having this. What do you do? Those are yeah, I don't know what Oyster. oysters. So for a snack we're having grilled oysters. We bought a snack. Um, I guess this place is famous for it. I chose a matcha taste and I'm just gonna have a bite. This is a this is called Momichi Manju and I'm just gonna take a bite and show you the inside. So it looks like this. It's like a flower leaf or like a leaf. It looks like this inside. Um, it looks green because I took matcha and it's good. And it's sweet for those of you who don't know that this is a sweet um, snack. So this is how the city looks like. Oh yeah, soft cream, yum. So I got a matcha ice cream. Mm, it's my favorite in Japan. We went back to Hiroshima and now we are on a sightseeing bus and I'm just gonna show you um, a little bit of what we're gonna um, see. We don't know yet if we're going um, outside of the bus um, because we're so exhausted. But yeah, I'm so excited to be on this sightseeing bus and it's, um, it's very well ventilated so it feels so good to be in a room where there is some air conditioning. Here you can see the atomic bomb the closer it's impressive. I guess this is the um, Peace Memorial Park. So we are at the um, my Peace Memorial, no, Peace, what is it called? Peace Memorial Park. And there's like a statue where there's fire and it has been lit in 19 something, I have to look it up. And it is, um, the fire is burning since then. So we're gonna look for that statue or monument. <laughs> So this is what it looks like here. There's the statue and the fire is right behind it. And behind that is the dome, um, which is like a reminder of the, I don't know if reminder is the right word, but the reminder of the atomic bomb attack, I guess. This place is so weird because it looks beautiful, but it has such a history behind it. Um, in Nagasaki, I got a lot sadder because there we went to a museum and you could see like um, stuff which people owned which just got destroyed and you can see how the things are bent and stuff like that because of the heat and that touched me so much because yeah, you could see the, these objects and here it's different, it's like everything is um, I don't know, maybe there are museums where you can see things like that, but here's like, um, I don't know how to say it. I cannot really um, imagine what happened here compared to Nagasaki where I was in this museum. But I think it's such a beautiful thing to have a peace memorial park because peace is what is important in this world. I don't know how it is in Hiroshima, but in Nagasaki, my grandma once told me they had these water fountains and water there because people back then, when the atomic bombs happened, were thirsty, so they put the water there um, to not let the spirits have, um, to not let them be thirsty. I don't know if it has the same meaning here, but there's definitely a lot of water. 
here are some more impressions of this park. It's so pretty and very peaceful. So you can stand in line and make a prayer like the two in the, um, in the front always make a prayer. And I think this is such a sweet idea. Um, yeah. So this is our hotel room in Hiroshima. We're only staying a night. And it's small, but it's alright. I'm, I'm also going to show you the bathroom. Usually they're super tiny in Japan. And, oops, here it is. I guess that's all. It is alright for just one night. Uh, so we're eating ramyaki. And the first thing I got is some haruki soda. And it's so fun because they're doing this in front of you. And it's so interesting to look at it. I don't know if they're cooking ours, but they're cooking it, cooking it in front of you. And it's just so fun. So next they're adding vegetables. Um, put the eggs, eggs on the grill or on the hot plate. I don't know how you call this. And these sandwiches together. So now he's adding the sauce. And some seasoning. And some spring onions. We ordered two different ones and made half half, so we have two different okonomiyaki. Ah, thank you. And we can add some sauce like we want if we want. Yeah. So you have this spatula thingy and take the pieces you want on your plate, and you can eat it, and then you can take more. Dinner was um, very good. I'm not a huge okonomiyaki fan. If I come to Japan, I prefer ramen, sushi, and udon, but it still was good. Now we're going back to the hotel. I might be able to edit some um, videos. I'm going to have a shower, and I will see you in my next vlog tomorrow. Don't forget to watch my previous ones um, if you liked it. See you soon. Bye. It's so hot in Japan right now. I feel so sweaty. I'm totally lost right now. You can get super cute photo paper for this. Does anyone need an umbrella? Or, you know, I just cannot talk with them, someone. First of all, I bought this set of three different lenses. There's apparently a fish eye, wide angle, and macro lens. 